हेलो एवरीवन आई एम नेहा एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वर्चुअल लैब ऑफ एन एब्जॉर्बशन लॉ व्हिच इज लैम्बर्ट लॉ एंड बियर लॉ टू जस्ट हैव अ क्विक रीकैप आई होप यू रिमेंबर दैट लैम्बर्ट लॉ सेज दैट द एब्जॉर्बशन इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द थिकनेस ऑफ द सोल्यूशन एंड एट द सेम टाइम बियर्स लॉ सेज दैट दिस इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सो नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कम्बाइन द लैम्बर्ट बियर्स लॉ एज पर लैम्बर्ट बियर लॉ when the beam of monochromatic radiation is passed through a homogeneous absorbing solution the absorbance is directly proportional to both the thickness and the concentration of the solution so let us see if like today we want to do a virtual lab session on this so what are you going to do you cannot perform this in your chemistry lab you want to see how does lambert beer law apply to any kind of compound so what you can write in the google search is virtual lab uv and once you type that uh, you will get lot many links but i would like you to see this one especially uh, main like maintained by amrita university so if you click on this link which is virtual lab amrita university you will find this uh, the link gets opened like this so if you go with the theory uh, obviously first you have to log in uh, because if you refer my previous videos of how to perform virtual lab you will be able to know that there is a login uh, thing you have to first create your login and uh, once you log into it then only you are able to see all these things also the theory portion of this beer number law is already discussed in my one of the videos so if you just want to have a precap just watch that video first then uh, come to this virtual lab and i'll tell you how you can do it then this would be really interesting now if you see uh, in the first two page theory everything is mentioned like theory also is mentioned and how a spectrophotometer work single beam photometer in fact one more video i have already posted on how does a spectrophotometer work especially uv so you can watch that also if you want to know the details uh, then in one of the video i have uh, differentiated the single beam and double beam spectrophotometer also so you can have a look now coming to the beers lambert law lambert beer law the same explanation i have given you and the same thing they have uh, mentioned here that there is a clear cut relation between the absorbance and the transmittance and there are lot many equations which you can derive uh, the first one is into logarithmic term the second one is this and the third one which is majorly used is a is equal to ecl which i have just shown you and like that and when you draw the graphs between absorbance and concentration it always goes like this and the important application of this graph is that any time you can find out the unknown concentration of a solution now this is interesting if you have one solution which is known to you the concentration is known to you you can use it uh, in the uv spectrophotometer get the absorbance and uh, plot the graph using two three known samples you will get this kind of graph now if you want to know uh, unknown like concentration of an unknown solution the solution is already with you you want to know the concentration what will you do what will you do you will go with the absorbance and extrapolate it to this curve and go down to concentration so this way you can easily find out the concentration when you do the experiment in the lab right lot many applications are there today we will see that how are you going to perform in virtual lab so in uh, normally we need a spectrophotometer a cuvette and a blank solution some of the reagents which they have given are these and this is the procedure and observations calculations result now this is what you are not required right now because i'll tell you how to do that so let us go to the simulator directly once you go to the simulator at the top right you will see this icon so you click on this icon and this will lead you to the full screen mode now you can see it in a better manner right now let us uh, start with how to do it so first you will select a solution from here let us select ferrocene for uh, example now this is the concentration tab wherein you can increase the concentration you can decrease so you can play with this then cuvette length is by default 1 cm and then we have to use this spectrophotometer now how are you going to do this so first you have to use a blank solution i hope you understand that calibration is the step which is required uh, to give instruction to this uv spectrophotometer hai na so sabse pehle hum kya karenge hum ek blank cuvette leke blank solution le lenge so you just click here to open and click this so the blank solution will come here right and then you have to 
click here to close so you have now got the absorbance here the wavelength also is selected around 350 mm nm now this is calibrated click here to open click here it will go back अब अगर आप यहाँ देखोगे ना यहाँ आपको दो सोल्यूशन्स uh, मिलेंगे नॉन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एंड अन नॉन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन नाउ यू क्लिक ऑन द नॉन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन फर्स्ट बिकॉज यू नो द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सो इट वुड बी ईजी फॉर यू टू एस्टिमेट राइट सो क्लिक हेयर टू क्लोज नाउ यू हैव टू यू नो नोट डाउन दिस रीडिंग फोर वन सिक्स सिक्स फोर वन सिक्स सिक्स वुड बी द एब्जॉर्बेंस right now this is related to the known solution now we will click here to open let the known solution go back and now you take your unknown solution so 4166 we have already got right now this when we close will get a answer now how to find this calculated concentration uh, for that let me uh, show you the calculation also uh, let me use a pen here so what we were using was basically ferrocene right and uh, first we have some known uh, sample and then we had some unknown sample right so in the known sample as i said like uh, the lambert beer law says this absorbance is equal to ecl now if i want to know this absorbance uh, by concentration i can easily find out el now you have to substitute the value what was the value 0.4166 i hope ha huh. this was the thing and what is the concentration the concentration is mentioned here you can see here right the concentration is 001 molar so now if you calculate it you are going to get uh, i think this right now this el value is to be utilized for the unknown solution so for unknown the like a equal to ecl what you want to know is concentration so it has to be e dot l right now what is the absorbance the absorbance value is this so you have to substitute the value 15.2897 and then divide by el now what is the value of el that you already found here so you just substitute the value 416.6 and uh, just use a calculator uh, let me do it for you right now so now if i uh, use a calculator and write there 15.2897 divide by 416.6 i get a uh, 0.0367 0.03670 this is what i've got so now i have to write this value here in the column so let us go back to it before that uh, let me quickly revise the thing first we kept the blank here then uh, we use the known one with using this known we calculated el uh, and then using that el and this absorbance we calculated the concentration so now uh, uh, let me put these values here what was the value i've got 0.0367 now if you write a zero here and submit it will say a right answer fine so this is what the value you have got now coming to uh, the second uh, sample let us uh, let us quickly reset it and uh, let us go ahead with one more sample okay let us take cobalt cobalt chloride for example so what was the first step first step is to set the concentration uh, i am keeping it like this only now you have to click here first blank is to be utilized so blank will come here and you are going to click here to close now this is calibrated now you have to open it let the blank go and yaha jo do solutions hai known or unknown unme se aap pehle kaun sa lenge known so we'll take known first and then we are going to click on close once you do that what you are going to get is the value of absorbance R uh, note down this value 0.0348 we are going to use it for the calculation right now we'll click here to open let the known go and take unknown solution once you take that click here to close 
and now you note down this uh, reading which is nothing but 2.5474 2.5474 now let us do the calculations because we have uh, taken both of the readings we have to do the calculation so what we were doing was uh, related to known and unknown again i am repeating the same process that uh, you have to take a is equal to ecl from here you are going to find out the value of el which is absorbance by concentration what was the value you have got 0.0348 divide by concentration the concentration is 0.001 now if you divide it i hope you will get 34.8 now you go with the unknown now again you'll use the same equation but here your aim is to find concentration so for that it would be a e l where l is the length right cubit length is 1 so it does not make a difference absorption coefficient value is there and absorbance is there now what is the absorbance value is this so you have to substitute this uh, only so what is the value 2.5474 divide by e l what was that 34.8 8 now if you uh, use a calculator along with me and try to find out the value 2.5474 divide by 34.8 this uh, is giving me 0 0.07320 7320 uh, just note down this and let us now put it there so let us now put it here in the calculation kya mila tha answer apan ko 0.0732 bhi likh sakte hain and submit mostly it takes four digits so if you like write 73 only and click submit it will show you wrong answer because it takes at least four digits right so you just mentioned four digits okay so now it is done uh, let me uh, take one more example for you so that it would be easy for you to understand okay so uh, let us take crystal violet now again just to revise uh, click here to open use a blank solution and then uh, quickly click here to close it will be calibrated click here to open uh, set it back take a known solution right and click here to close and note this reading this is the reading of absorbance 0.4572 now click here to open let it go and take unknown solution fine and click on click here to close and please note this reading the reading is 5.5322 clear and now let us uh, quickly do the calculations here okay so in Known case, right? I was having uh, E L is equal to A C, and what did you get? Zero point four five seven two. That was the answer, I hope. And you will get four fifty seven point two. Now to utilize here, uh, what is the value of absorbance? Five point five three two two divided by Four fifty seven point two, and uh, let us quickly do the calculations again for you. Uh, I think five point five three two two divided by four fifty seven point two gives me zero point zero one two one. Let us uh, fit these values here. Zero point zero one two one and submit. and that's it so that's how you have got the correct answer now with this i hope you are able to understand what to be done and now with that you can explore other solutions as well click on reset everything will be reset and you can select different things fine so i'm just clicking on top right corner again and uh, just close this window now i'll ask uh, you to see the other options also here the procedure part is done from my side right you can see now coming to assignment portion 
so here some questions are given to you you can solve it as a assignment uh, i have posted a separate uh, video of numericals i would request you to see that video uh, every doubt related to how to solve these questions in self evaluation also they will ask some questions each and every question the answer you may get in that uh, video i'll post a link here you can click on it so you can see the uh, answers there how to solve the questions of absorbance and transmittance and how the lambert beer law is very important to you so i think with that uh, you are able to understand the lambert beer law and since you are not able to go to the lab due to this pandemic any time you can explore uv spectrophotometer on this uh, virtual lab uh, platform made by amrita university so thank you so much and if you like the video do mention in the comment and hit on like thank you so much